What's up, everybody? I wanted to demonstrate an attack today uh, that I have built out in my lab, and it is an attack that I am finding myself using more and more often when it comes to internal penetration tests. It used to be the go-to was responder, you cracking those hashes, and getting win, right, or passing those along with SMB relays. Well, we've done videos on both of those before, but now there's a, this new kind of relay attack that is just getting win after win on assessments, and it's called Man in the Middle 6, and I, I want to present that to you today. So before we get started, as always, please hit that like button, that subscribe button, and please do comment down below if you like the video. Always hit the bell if you want to see more videos when I post them. And thank you, everybody. We're nearing the end of the year. 55,000 subscribers as of yesterday. You're all so awesome. I love you all. So let's cut to the chase. Let's get started and dive right in. So let's set up the scene. I am running a tool called Man in the Middle 6, MITM6. If you want to grab this, you can go out to Google and pretty much just say Google and say GitHub MITM6, and you will find it right here. Okay, follow the instructions. That's how you have the tool. Again, awesome to use on assessments. So let me set up the situation really quick. I have two machines running right now. I've got Windows Server 2016. This is actually 2019. I don't know why I'm lying to you on this top part. And I've got a Windows 10 server. We are in a domain here. I've got the domain set up. All I've got set up here is just a few users. We can look at the users and computers. I've got a few different users. I've got some groups. I've got uh, computers, two computers set up to this domain. Really nothing important, just a, a Active Directory attack domain, okay? So I'm gonna show you one of the many attacks. I'm gonna introduce you to a blog at the end that has so many cool attacks that you can do with this. And just one of the many attacks that we can do with Man in the Middle 6, that is awesome. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to run Man in the Middle 6, and we're gonna run it like this, MITM6, and then we're gonna specify the domain. My domain is marvel.local. And on the other side of things is we're going to run NTLM Relay. And then I'm going to explain this attack and why it's doing what it's doing and why it's working. So I'm gonna do a dash six here for IPv6. This is an IPv6 attack. And I'm going to target the LDAP connection on my domain controller. So this IP I'm typing in right now is my domain controller. I'm going to supply a fake WPAD. I'm just gonna call it fake wpad.marvel.local. And then I'm gonna do a dash L for loot. I'm going to get a loot out of this and you're gonna see this and it's really, really cool too. So before I hit this, let's explain what's going on right now. So what's going on is we're attempting to do a DNS takeover via IPv6. And this is an Active Directory type of attack. What is happening here is that in most networks, Nobody thinks about using IPv6, and if they're not using it, it's just enabled by default. If you think about your computer right now, chances are IPv6 is just running, but you're utilizing IPv4. That's how most of the world this works. So we've got IPv4 running. We're utilizing not IPv6, but it's up and running, okay? And it's just sitting there. So what are we going to do? We're going to be a man in the middle, and we're going to say, hey, I'm your DNS server. I'm going to listen for DNS, I'm going to spoof some DNS, um, and I'm going to take advantage of that. So what's going to happen here is we've got this listener set up, man in the middle six, and we are just listening for any sort of um, IPv6 connection here. And so this these establish a, a DNS every 30 minutes to an hour. I forget what the default is, so don't quote me on it. Um, and what we're going to do is, you can see it's sending in for my fake WPAD. That's not really a big deal. It found Punisher in here, but that's actually my host that it found. Um, but what we're gonna do to, to kind of speed this along is I'm going to come into here and I'm just gonna reboot this machine. And as I'm rebooting, I'm gonna go ahead and set up this NTLM relay and get that going before it reboots. So what's gonna happen is this Man in the Middle 6 is gonna listen, it's going to relay over here to the relay. The relay is going to pass along what it gets um, NTLM credential wise and pass that to LDAP. 
LDAP's going to try to, it's going to try to authenticate with LDAP and it's going to do some really cool stuff when it does. So the first thing that's going to happen here is you're going to see a computer attempt to come through and that computer is going to be the computer I just rebooted, the Punisher. Okay, once the Punisher comes through, as it should, and you're seeing it come through here, and there it goes, it takes a second. So as the Punisher comes through, the Punisher succeeds. And you can see the dollar sign here means that this is a computer. So it's gonna enumerate the relayed user's privileges. It doesn't know if it's a user or a computer, that's fine. And then it's gonna dump the domain info. What the heck does that mean? Well, if we come into LS and you see that loot folder has been created because we use a dash L for loot, go ahead and CD into this loot folder, do an LS and look at all the stuff it has in here. It's got domain users by OS or domain computers by OS, domain computers, domain groups, domain users by group. There's so many cool things in here, domain trusts and policy. Let's take a look at one of my favorites. I'm just gonna say Firefox domain users and then by group. Take a look at this, and this is why I love it. So I have a very vulnerable lab set up, but this is made to emulate uh, environments that I've seen in the past. Here, without ever exploiting anything officially, right, we just gathered some information. This pulls down the administrators, all the users, the domain admins, enterprise admins for us, on top of that, we can see when the passwords are last set, if the account is expired or ever set to expire, when the password is last changed on, and my favorite, descriptions. So many admins put passwords in descriptions thinking that you cannot see them, but guess what? We can see them with very little effort, okay? So we already know the SQL service domain admin account is running with the password of my password 123 pound. Fun stuff, this is great. So in terms of information gathering, we can pull down so much from this so quick. I absolutely love that feature and we're not even all the way there yet. Okay, here's the really fun part. Let's say now that a domain admin on the network, he just wants to go log in or she, and we're just gonna go log in. Our password can be whatever it wants. This is a weak password here, but it could be 35 characters. Doesn't matter. Let's go take a look at what's happening over here. Now this is going to try to attempt and so much stuff is flying through. I'm gonna actually control C and it says new user already added. Ah, I'm so excited. Let's go up here and see what's happening. So let's find the first access control that it's doing here. Okay, so Marvel administrator, the administrator of the network succeeded. All right, and now what it's doing is it's coming through here and it's trying to set up an access control list to allow or to create a new user. So watch this, come through, look at this, adding new user with username. Here's the user, here's the password. That's so awesome. And it says go try using DC sync with secretsump.py and this user. On top of this, it creates an access control modification here to the ACLs. It added the user to the enterprise admin group. If we CD dot dot and we LS here, you can see that the ACL pwn has been put here for a restore file, so we can go in and we can restore this when it's done with the client. However, we can also go and take a look directly at the domain controller, and I showed you the users before, and now if we refresh this, we can see this new user, WLZUQ, whatever, has been added as well. So very, very cool attack, and very easy to pull off. Now, before I let you go, I do wanna show you one more thing. I want to show you this here. So take a look at this website, and I'm gonna post this in the description. This jerk, dirkjanum.io, combining NTLM relay and Kerberos delegation, it's amazing. So we can attack LDAP-S just like we did here, and if we scroll down just a little bit, if you add the dash dash delegate access, what happens here is if you recall in the beginning when we, we succeeded as the computer, and here's the success as the computer here, it's gonna go in and add a new computer with this delegate access. We don't even have to attack an admin machine to own a computer. So this computer here with this delegate access is gonna go in here and try to log in. It's gonna to try to add a new computer. And guess what? If you can add this new computer, you can use this S2 or S4U2 proxy and actually impersonate somebody on that computer 
and gain access to that, dump the hashes, dump whatever. This is a great read. I, I encourage everybody to read it. Also, go read the original post. I'll post that as well for, I'm gonna put this in here, but the, the Fox IT who created this tool, this original post on how to use it, you can utilize this via SMB almost like a relay attack and gain access via SMB relay type deal, but with IPv6, and you can get shells over Sox proxy or however you wanna do it as well. Very, very cool stuff. So that's it for this lesson. I just wanted to share with you some of the cool stuff that goes on in Active Directory and some of the attacks that are still relevant today and one of my favorite attacks as of right now. So that's it. Again, as always, please share with a friend. Please hit that like button, that subscribe button, hit the bell. Leave a comment down below. I love you all. Until next time, my name is TCM and I thank you for joining me.